transformative role of cloud comp computing in BPO operations. I'd like to introduce Mr. Mukesh Jain, CTO, VP, and Global Head of Innovation, Capgemini. Mr. Mukesh Jain, CTO, VP, and Global Head of People Analytics at Capgemini, boasts of 28 plus years of techno biz leadership across Microsoft, Geo, NICE, and v VFS Global. A pioneer in digital transformation, AI, and data-driven innovation, he has groundbreaking products like Hashtag 890 by Capgemini and Hashtag Idea by Capgemini. Recognized in analytics, digital advertising, and software engineering, Mukesh has authored two books, delivered impactful speeches globally, and shaped technology landscapes at prominent organizations. Please come on stage, Mr. It works now, right? I don't have to shout now, it looks like. Okay. No, not yet? Not yet? Are we? Are we? Okay. So, started my career as a Puchne me kya jata hai? 1998, my friend's brother got a job in Intel in US. I was like, wow, what it takes to get a job in Intel and Microsoft? My friends are Mukesh, bhul jao. It's impossible for you to get a job in Microsoft. Well, why not? Mukesh, your English is poor, you are not done from IIT, and you stammer, all, all the things which could go wrong. But, puchne me kya jata hai? And I asked and I joined Microsoft. Working there, working with Bill Gates, Satya Nadella was always an uh, interesting part. But then I thought, all this knowledge here, 13 years, what can I do with it? Come back to India. Work for Mukesh Bhai and work for some other companies. Now at Capgemini, doing innovation with ideas, with data. It's all about data for me. Working with uh, Capgemini, working for BPO, working for financial services. It's really amazing that I can do four innovations, six innovations a month compared to one innovation in two years when I was working at Microsoft. So I'm enjoying it. Why? Why are we talking about cloud? Everybody knows about cloud. I'm not going to talk more about cloud, but I'm not going to talk about the value we can bring in. Because, because we all have choice. Would you agree? We have choice. You want to go somewhere, you take out your phone, Ola, it shows you like this. How many seconds are you going to wait? Anybody? How many? <coughs> 5 seconds, 10 seconds? 7.2 seconds, India average. 5.5 seconds, Mumbai average. We all have choice. When you're talking about BPO, right, both angles. When a company wants to send business to the BPO organization, they also have a choice. And organizing employees, when they're working for BPO, I'm sure they also have a choice. So everybody have a choice. So what is our purpose? When, I'm, when you're making a phone call, your call is important to us. Please stay in the line for half an hour. Okay. But the expectation is different now. Anytime, anywhere, on any device. I really don't want to call people. In 13 years at Microsoft, I only called, called twice the help desk. Only twice in 13 years. And that too because I took a vacation of more than one month. And if you don't log in into the system for more than a month, then your uh, password gets expired and you have to call and then get deactivated. Only twice. That time, laptop was not there as prominent. I don't like it. But no, a lot of places, no, you have to call. And when you call, please, for better services, go online. When I go online, for better services, please call. Ping pong, ping pong. Anytime, anywhere, on any device. Microsoft had this mantra for decades. It's true. I'm sure a lot of us want to have self-service, right? Yeah, there are some things which is white glove service. The chauffeur comes and takes the car. Yeah, that we want white glove. But that's all, we want self-service, right? With self-service and all, what do we do? How do we understand why are people calling us? With cloud, it makes it easier, right? When the volume goes up, when it goes down, it, able to balance it out so that the anytime, anywhere can be done. But more important, can we understand how people are using it and then innovate? It looks like people are calling for this. Can I solve this problem even better? I remember uh, about, I think it was the year 1999, 
when I was traveling in US and my flight got canceled and instead of flying to San Francisco, they took give me a flight to San, San Jose. So I had to change my AVS rental car. So I opened the AVS app, at that time I'm talking about very, very starting stage of a mobile phone. And the first thing I asked is, first option was change pickup location. Amazing. How did they know? They did not no need to know who would go to the browser and do it on a mobile browser, right? Things like that. Compete on experience. Now, when you talk about BPO, some of the el important element is how can we make it available for people when they really need it so that the time required is small. And that's why all of our experience. A combination of <clears throat> anytime, anywhere, a combination of self-service and com combination of trust. And then, of course, what are the expectations? We talk about innovation. Gotham sir also have talked very well about innovation as well, right? So everywhere we need to innovate. It's not like whatever is done past is ready. And for innovation, nothing better than this slide. By the way, this is an 18-year-old slide. Why are we having 18-year-old slide here? Some of you may remember this phone model. At that time, 18 years back, when you say, yo, I can do email on my phone, people say, wow, you can do email on the phone. That's the delight part of it. Must have. Make and receive a phone call. We don't do use that much nowadays, phone calls and all. We do text messages mostly. But more, or the cow, or the cow, or Amazon advertisement. We want more RAM, more camera. One selfie camera, two selfie camera, four selfie camera. Kya karo ita selfie camera? More, or the cow, more. And then of course, this satisfy. Yeah, charging is a little bad. It's okay. Cano was a scientist who suggested that there are four quadrants. You have to find out where you are, right? And by the way, most of the people will be here, which is okay. But at least have something over here. Because what happens? Today or tomorrow, few weeks from now, few months from now, things like that will all move into must have. Which means, no, I'm no longer okay with four hours charging. I want half an hour charging. I was okay earlier, but now no. So that become must have. Same expectation everywhere. In BPO, yes, earlier you were asking me to wait. Earlier you were asking me to come and submit a form. No longer required now. I had to be online, otherwise I'm not I'm not working with you. I'm not giving business to you. That thinking, this thinking, and why I'm keeping this 18-year-old slide? Because we can relate to it very well. Yes, there was a time where you can, if you can do more email on the phone, we just talked about, wow. Now tell me, what are the top, op op top expectations of BP operation? Anybody? Two or three points? Top operation, expectation. Customer service, okay, generic statement, bada, catch all statement, fine. Any other? Low cost, Low cost resolution, okay, fine. Any other? One more? Customer satisfaction. Customer satisfaction, okay? My English is a little poor, so I'm going to use Hindi. Is it okay with you? I've already used Hindi, by the way. I'm asking permission later. The expectation is Mayhuna. Movie, Sa Khan movie. No, I'm not a Shah Khan fan. I'm a Salman Khan fan, but still, my Huna movie. Which means, trust. My Huna kaam ho jayega aapka. My Huna, I am there. That's what is expectation from BP operations. Okay, I'm giving the business to you. You are not representing your company. You are representing my company. That's what is the trust. Then there's another element. There's another serial it was. What do you call? Uh, Sumit Sambhal Lega. Which means, if anything goes wrong, this team, my team will be able to take care of it. And of course, with all KPIs, right? Customer satisfaction, low cost, all of them are part and parcel of that. I know the company which support both Ola and Uber. Same company supporting Ola and Uber on the BP operations. Okay? Expectations are totally different from both of them. I'm not going to go into details about it, but expectations are different. Uber has certain expectations that these are the top priorities. Ola have a slightly different top priorities. Both of them are working fine, but I'm sure each one of us use both the products. So you see the difference also there. So ultimately, it boils down to what the client wants. But if, if you to th think about the client wants that I want the satisfaction, I want that Sumit Sambhalega, I want that Mayhuna attitude, I think you will get it. The ownership mindset and all you talk about, right? That's what it's all about. Now, how are, you, how are you using cloud on this one, right? So, of course, there are certain things about cloud which definitely comes as a package. But think about it, right? Streamline processes. Can I streamline? Do I have to really invest in a heavy engineering team or DevOps team or operations team to be managing it? Probably not. With cloud, I may be able to do a better job there. Scalability, rapid elasticity. Do you know what was before, uh, <coughs> before Facebook? Or good before or good? MSN Spaces. MSN Spaces, simple. 
Example, Amazon Space is the team was asked create a product. We expecting one lakh users to come. The dev, dev manager, architect said, no, no, let's let's make it better. Let's have the product created for one million user, ten lakh users. So they created the product for ten lakh users. And the marketing team said, hey, let's exceed our expectation. Let's bring in ten million users. Twenty million users came on the world first day. The spaces came up, boom, down. Came up, boom, down. Came up, down. Seven days it took to recover. Many people don't even know about it. Gone. Rapid elasticity. Cloud was not there at that time. Elasticity. How can we improvise? How can we increase? When Flipkart site goes down, when billion was there, uh, Mr. Bansal said, wow, I'm proud of it. Well, why are you proud of it? Your site has gone down. Don't be proud of that. Yes, your site, Skype was not able to scale. That's why it is. And that's exactly what here it is. We don't find reason why it went down. Everybody knows the reason. What did we do to plan better over there? Right? And you know, right, history. Microsoft made some of those mistakes, and those are history. But of course, outlook is outlook. I'm biased toward Microsoft, by the way. Remote accessibility, better collaboration. How can we bring people together? Yes, you can still have a lot of organizations still have on-prem. We also have some data on-prem. But yes, it's all about how can we make it easier for people to access and so on. Management, analytics, and uh, this is exactly what why people are talking about cloud. I've talked about several people. See, I'm also techie. I also uh, do architecture and all. But I see so many people coming, oh, we cannot put all our eggs in the same basket. I'm a vegetarian, by the way. All in the same basket. Some on Azure, some on AWS, some on GCP. Are you so if one thing goes down, your operation is going to be affected anyways. But we are talking about cloud, right? High-scale cloud. What happens over there? Nothing. It just works. Now think about it. When you talk about analytics and insight, if you have your data on GCP and you are doing analytics on Power BI on this, on then you have something else on AWS, how much data movement are you doing? That is getting more latency, more cost to the organization than the hybrid cloud strategy. No, you cannot do that. You have to have a strategy about, I want to use these, these, these uh, analytics, I want to bring these insights, and yes, probably choosing one cloud provider probably does better for you. And that's something which a lot of time when we are doing with a client, we do advise those pieces. And of course, cost savings are there. Now, it's hard to prove cost savings because several people talk to me. We went to the cloud journey, and we don't see cost saving. Of course, if you're doing Lyft, and shift, you're not going to see cloud, see cloud saving. Pahle server aapke ghar mein tha, abhi unke ghar pe hai, utna hi farak hai. No, it's not that. But if you rearrange, rearrange, like uh, Gautam said, right, transform. Are you transforming your applications? Are you changing the application? Then yes. Then you'll be able to find the benefits of the cloud, and that's why you'll be able to save some money as well. So the whole journey, we all talk about data, right? But before data, the important part comes is measurement. How do we measure? The classic example of door-to-door, -door, wing to wing example of Boeing aircraft, right? When the flight was grounded, taking out the engine and getting, sending it to GE for repairs, right? GE was counting it from, uh, from the time it arrives. Boeing was counting when it, it drops down. The measurement, the bottom part is measurement. Data doesn't come. Data doesn't come in Excel, by the way. Somebody is writing the code to emit the data. Have you seen in office application a pop-up come once in a while? Participating customer experience improvement program. When I came up with this idea in 99, uh, my manager told Mukhe, that's the most pathetic idea I've ever seen. I said, why? Nobody's going to click on the button. And he was right. Only 1.4% people click on the button. When you're talking about millions of users using this product, 1.4% is more than enough. Data. Measurement. That part is coming, the measurement part. Then we go for the data. Then information, insights, and the whole journey starts from that. But if you don't have right measurements, then you're gone. Completely gone. So at past, part of my role at Capgemini, when we're doing this, so I'm also now involved in people analytics. And I look at it, yes, we need to improvise this part. Oh, but I say, karte aare hum log. oh this is different. My business is different. And of course, your business is different. Like business is different, so we're in business. Mein hote, na? So that reasoning, right? my, my measurement will be different, my data will be different, my insights requirement are different. I need blue color, I need red color. Chahiye pe. You have to automate, you have to standardize this part. The whole journey of the place where we do predictive and prescriptive. I'm sure a lot of people predicted uh, who will win the World Cup match, right? OK? And we saw what happened, right? Anyway, predictive, prescriptive. Who should go? Should Anushka Sharma be allowed in the stadium or not? That could have been a prescriptive part, right? I don't know if that was the reason. So whole part, in summary, what we're talking about here is how can we monitor seamless operation and scale operation? Monitor. Side down, it's too late. 
we are 60% of the capacity. I think we'll be down. Please do something about it. That's what the starting point is. Enhance resource allocation. Hey, we need this power. These kind of tickets are higher at that time of the day. These are higher at this time of the day. Let's do better resource allocation, both for people and on the resources. We need more compute at this time. We need more storage at this time. We are transferring data from here to US. Don't, don't do it in prime time. Do it in the lean hours. Personalized next best action. That's the best part of it. Next best action. So when I was working in an earlier company in Nice Systems, doing a lot of focus over the Capgemini, there's so many clients, next best action. And I think that is the place where we get more revenue, cross sell, upsell happens with the next best action. But in the cloud, you should be able to do it in seconds rather than waiting for somebody, okay, okay I got something, and then you're sending it out later. Better integration, collaboration with the team members, and of course, customer insights. Now insights, when we talk about, right, how can we understand what are the clients really want to do? How can we make sure that there is a predictive and prescriptive being used there to be able to plan better, okay? Timing is perfect, huh, for you. Okay, with that, I'm gonna uh, pause here, uh, take a question. Maybe we'll do it later. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mukesh Jain. That was an extremely interactive and very high energy presentation. I really enjoyed it, and I'm kind of hoping that everybody in the crowd also did. Thank you so much. To felicitate Mr. Jain, may I request Mr. Sebashish Pani to kindly come on stage. <laughs>